Welcome to the Alexis K. Tyler Vagina Power Show. We're going to talk more about vagina power and different aspects of vagina power and spiritual sexuality today. I want to introduce you to a concept that I came up with. I actually added it to one of my books, and I call it Vagina Power, Spiritual, Sexual, Mental, and Emotional Voice Recognition Patterns. Just stick with me. I know it might sound new or different or crazy. Well, I'm used to people calling me crazy, so <laughs> it's okay if that's what you're thinking. I want to get into the different parts of the body that I have become more aware of. Every time I write a book on spiritual sexuality, vagina power, penis power, and sperm power, Every time I move into an aspect of the chakras and the auric field, then I become more aware of how beautiful and how dynamic we are, how incredible we really are. There are so many aspects to our soul level self that are projected into the third dimensional realm that we are not consciously aware of. We don't know how many realms and how many levels that we really exist on simultaneously while we are being transported around in this physical body, this physical shell. We think that this is something that's solid, that's going to stay this way, and this is all we are, dense matter. We think that once we leave this body and the body deteriorates physically, that, oh well, another one bites the dust and that's the end of it. But that's not the case. That's not really true. When we come here, our soul already contains the subatomic structure of all of the fields of information that we are supposed to project into the third dimensional realm. So it is literally layers upon layers upon layers of soul memory and information wrapped in soul time. There is a universal clock. There is also a cell clock. And there is also the linear clock that we are given based on the time of the clocks that we are regulated by. The amount of hours that we sleep, we're told they're 24 hours in a day. And we have eight hours to function during the day, whether it's at school or whether it's at work or whether we're functioning at home and then eight hours at night. And then the cycle begins over and over again. But I'm here to tell you that your body does not function on the linear time frame of a clock. The linear time frame has no bearing. It has no power over the soul memory and the soul time clock that is encased in who you are. Everything is based on spiritual, mental, and emotional. All of those intangible selves that you can't see, Everything about who you are, how you do what you do, and why you were brought here is wrapped into that subatomic structure. So when I am talking about voice pattern recognition, I am actually asking you to go into the higher levels of your mind, the deeper parts of your soul, to really get where I'm coming from, you're going to have to go to the deep levels. And I have a reference book for this material so that you can listen to the, the videos, the educational videos, and you can also reference it in writing for everything that I say where I go into a deeper explanation. And there will be more tapes, more DVDs and CDs on this where you can actually go into detail and figure out very clearly what I'm telling you about yourself. Okay. The body that I'm talking about is an exact cutout. It's an exact duplicate 
of the physical body that you have. Just like people say they see ghosts or you have an astral, mental, emotional, or spiritual bodies. Those bodies are inside of the physical body. Those are the higher levels of the self. But those bodies also travel. Like when people astral travel, or we astral project in our sleep, many times people do it when we're awake. We'll travel someplace else, mentally, emotionally, spiritually. We can actually see people. We can describe them. We can hear what they're saying. We can sense what they're feeling. And then we'll come back through time and get back in our bodies. That is one of those bodies, one of those uh, etheric structures that has a membrane. It has a memory. It has chakras and auric fields in those subtle bodies. Now, just as with my voice and everybody's voice, there is voice pattern recognition in everybody's voice because behind the sound or within the sound of the voice and the wind, the air and the tongue that helps you form the thought pattern. Because before you speak something, that's not the first concept of what you are saying. The first concept is in the soul mind, in the soul body. It is a concept first in your etheric membrane and that is made of waves sound waves and there's a mo